The Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with many new features. We've already talked about some of them, but today we have six more exciting ones from Samsung to tell you about. Bennett Brunner, known for leaking information about One UI 6.1, has revealed six additional interesting features that will be included in the Galaxy S24 series. 1. Convert speech to text. You can turn recordings, meetings, or lectures into written text for quick review. You can even translate this text into different languages. 2. Circle to search. If you see something on your screen like a picture or web page and want to know more, press and hold the home button. You can draw a circle around it or tap it and a Google search will appear with more details. 3. Built-in interpreter. The S24 includes a feature in the quick panel that lets you translate conversations. You can either read the translations or listen to them. 4. Advanced editing options. Similar to Pixel phones, the S24 allows you to move people or objects in photos and even make the photos larger. 5. Browser assist. This feature summarizes or translates web pages. It's helpful for quickly understanding long web pages or those in other languages. 6. Wallpaper masking. In the new wallpaper feature, you can now select a subject in a scene and make it stand out, like taking it out of a frame or applying different artistic styles. Additionally, there's a new calendar clock style that displays your to-do list along with the time. Also, we have good news for Galaxy S23, Z Fold 5, or Flip 5 users. One UI 6.0 has been released for most compatible Galaxy phones and tablets. Now One UI 6.1 is the upcoming update that will be generating a lot of excitement and anticipation over the next few weeks. We've been curious about whether the new artificial intelligence features will be available on current Galaxy devices with the One UI 6.1 update. Based on information from our sources, it seems our concerns about this compatibility might be valid. According to Sam Mobile, Samsung is in the process of adding some, but not all, of the new artificial intelligence features to existing devices. Currently, their focus is on the Galaxy S23, Z Fold 5, and Z Flip 5. This doesn't rule out the possibility of other devices receiving these updates, but given that One UI 6.1 is more than just a standard update, it's prudent to maintain some skepticism. These specific phone models are expected to receive the update in the first quarter. Recent reports suggest that the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus will return to using Exynos chips in European and Asian markets. However, some countries might receive models with Snapdragon chips. According to a new report from WinFuture, the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus in Europe will indeed have Exynos processors. Additionally, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is set to feature a special Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy processor, which has a faster prime CPU core than the standard version. The Exynos 2400, a Fordham processor manufactured by Samsung Foundry, is reported to have a prime CPU core, Cortex-X4, with a speed of 3.2 GHz. It also includes two Cortex, a 720 cores at 2.9 GHz, three Cortex, a 720 cores at 2.6 GHz, and four Cortex, a 520 cores at 1.95 GHz. These frequencies are slightly lower than those of the standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, this detail is noteworthy because Samsung has not yet officially released the full specifications of the Exynos 2400. You can pre-reserve the Galaxy S24 on Samsung's official website without any cost and get a $50 credit from Samsung. Just give your name and email address. If you pre-order or buy the device after its official announcement, you'll get a $50 store credit. The devices will likely be available for pre-order shortly after the announcement. Now, like always, let's dive into all the details of the S24 series, including its features, design, and cost. This will help you figure out which one suits you best. To my regular viewers, you're probably familiar with this, so feel free to move on to the next video. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on future content. Now, let's dive straight into it. The standard Galaxy S24 will come equipped with a 6.2-inch, 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display boasting a resolution of 2340 by 1080 It will make use of Samsung's latest M13 OLED panels, shielded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and reinforced with aluminum 2.0 for added durability. For selfies, there's a 12-megapixel punch-hole front camera. Turning to the back, the phone features a 50-megapixel primary camera a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens. In the USA and South Korea, it will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, while the European variants will run on the Exynos 2400. The device offers 8GB of RAM and storage choices of 128GB or 256GB, using UFS 4.1 technology.
The Galaxy S24 houses a 4,000 mAh battery supporting 25 watt fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, the phone is expected to be released in February 2024 with an estimated price range of $850 to $900. Introducing the Galaxy S24 Plus, featuring an impressive 6.7-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display. It showcases an upgraded Quad HD Plus resolution of 3120 by 1440 incorporating Samsung's advanced M13 old panel, safeguarded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and reinforced with aluminum 2.0 for added durability. For selfies, a 12-megapixel punch-hole camera takes the spotlight. On the back, you'll find a powerful camera setup with a 50-megapixel primary lens, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens. In the USA and South Korea, it's equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, while European models run on the Exynos 2400. The phone offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM and storage choices of 256 gigs or 512 gigs, utilizing US 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S24 Plus features a robust 4,900 mAh battery supporting 45-watt fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, the expected price for this device is around $1,050. Now let's explore the flagship of the lineup, the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Introducing the Galaxy S24 Ultra, showcasing a generous 6.8-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display with a crisp resolution of 3088 by 1440 It incorporates Samsung's advanced M13 old panel, safeguarded by the durable Gorilla Glass Victus 2. For capturing stunning selfies, there's a 12-megapixel punch-hole camera. On the back, the phone features an outstanding camera setup, including a 200-megapixel primary lens, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, a 50-megapixel 3x telephoto lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens with an impressive 10x optical zoom. Contrary to earlier rumors, it is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 across all regions, distinguishing it from the S24 and S24 Plus, which stick with the Exynos. The S24 Ultra offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256, 512 gigs, and 1 terabyte storage, leveraging US 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S24 Ultra houses a robust 5,000 mAh battery supporting swift 45 watt fast charging. Connectivity features encompass 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, this premium device is anticipated to launch with an approximate price tag of $1,250. So overall, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra introduces a fresh design with enhanced durability and a significantly brighter display. With upgraded hardware and numerous new AI features, the inclusion of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in all Ultra models appears to be a smart move by Samsung. The overall improvements across the entire lineup suggest that these phones are poised for success. While the similarities to the predecessor might not entice S23 Ultra owners to rush for an upgrade, the S24 series is an excellent choice for those with older S phones or those considering their first S phone. As we approach the launch, more details will likely surface and I'll continue to share them as soon as they become available. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any updates in the future. Share your opinions in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next update. Until next time, peace out.